everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Around Reviews. Today, we have the 8-man 1080p dash cam model C660. This camera's got a 170-degree wide-angle lens, so you get to see everything that's in front of you getting recorded to this camera. It's got night vision, it's got a built-in 3-inch screen, and it's got a Sony IMX307 Starvis sensor all within this thing. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So we open this up and we see a nice little uh, hello, welcome card, a share your experience card, the ever important user manual, as you see there's a lot of pages in this here. Uh, what else we got? This is the camera itself, oh it is super tiny, look at this thing, I mean it sits in the palm of my hand, it's more lens than anything, look at that. There's the lens. There's that three inch screen. What else we got in here? Windshield mount. And then the accessory box. In here we have a micro USB to cigarette lighter adapter. A uh, reset pin or a SD card ejector. Um, obviously it doesn't have an SD card, but it's uh, probably a reset pin. We'll find out in a little bit. A pry bar. And then a uh, micro USB to USB-A connector. And that's everything. So like I was saying earlier, this thing is really tiny and super light. Not a lot of weight to this at all. Uh, let's see what we got on here. On the bottom, there is a plug. This is for the external GPS unit that they sell. It can go in here. Right here is the micro USB cable. And then right here is the way to attach this to the mount. Now here on this side, you will see that there are four buttons. So this top one here, that is the power button. And you can also press that for your record and your stop. Here you have a menu button and you're up. Here you have the microphone button and your down, and then here you have your OK button. So that's all the four buttons right there on the side. Then you have here on this side, that's where the SD card goes. And that's it. So you have the SD card, the buttons, and then on the top is the mount, the power, and the GPS. And that is the whole camera. Um, obviously, when using the camera, make sure you peel off the plastic that comes on the lens, and you will not need that. So to attach the camera, to the mount is really simple. It's just as easy as you put it in here and you slide it over and that's it. So it's attached. You got a little screw here on the side. Oh, as you see, I actually just turned it on. You have a screw here on the side so you can do your angling and you can do your twisting to get almost any mount that you want. So since I turned it on, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera to the screen so we can see what everything looks like. Be right back. So this is what it looks like. Obviously I am pointed straight down at a table so you're not gonna see anything here. Um, but you got your time right up here and then all your settings on the top corner here. So you have the WDR, Wide Dynamic Range. That is your loop recording for three minutes. The one that looks like a shield, that is your parking guard. Um, this one here that looks like a little phone shaking, that's your G sensor. Then you have the microphone, which is recording audio. The SD card is the uh, little square one there. And then the very last one is your battery level. And then over on this side, these four are showing you what the buttons do. Your record, your menu, your microphone, and your emergency recording. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go into the menu. Sorry if this is gonna shake. And you have modes, video, photograph, playback, and setup. And we are going to go, and it shows now here that you've got go back, up, down, and enter. And then we're going to go into the setup here. We're going to go enter, camera settings, or system settings. The camera settings, you can set your resolution. 1080p, 720p, or VGA. Here is your photo resolution up to 12 megapixel. Loop recording for uh, three minutes. You can also do one or five or off. Recording audio on and off. Motion detection on or off. 
gravity sensor. You can do low, medium, or high. Or off. Parking guard on and off. Headlight warning on or off. WDR on or off. And that's it for the camera settings. So we can go back to system settings. So we have auto power off one minute. Um, you can actually set that to one minute, three minutes, or off. The screensaver will come on after a minute. That beep sound you're hearing, you can turn that on and off. The startup sound can go on and off. That's where you can reset the language. Your frequency, 50 or 60. I'm actually needing for it to be on 60. IR lights on or off. That's for your, uh, your night vision. And then here you can set what time you want the night vision lights to come on. So it just defaults from 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. You can set the GPS on or off if you happen to purchase the external GPS. Speed unit, miles or kilometers. Set your date and time again. You can put a timestamp on the bottom of the recordings. You can have your license plate put on the recording so that way you know which vehicle it's coming from. This is where you can type in the license plate number. You can format the SD card and you can default it and reset everything back to its default settings. And there's the version number that comes with it. So I'm going to take this camera into the vehicle. We're going to plug it in, do some recording and see what this thing looks like. Be right back. All right, so I got the dash cam installed in the car and we've got it on record and we're going to go for a little drive so we can see the quality of the camera, uh, both video wise and audio wise. In fact, you are actually hearing me talk right now through the uh, dash cam directly. Once again, as a reminder, you are seeing 170 degrees coming from the camera. So that is almost all the way left and right, but you are seeing the whole front end of the car. As we're driving around, we're seeing that the camera is not shaking at all. So this suction cup mount is holding the camera uh, pretty good on here. The audio is actually pretty crisp and clear. Um, we can hear everything on here pretty well. I do want to mention that I had to try a couple of different SD cards in this camera before it would actually work. I had some older ones, one was an eight gig and one was a 32 gig, but they were a couple of years old. Uh, but for some reason, the camera would not read it. It wouldn't let me format the SD card. Uh, I put in a new one that I actually just bought about a month ago. It's a 16 gigabyte micro SD by SanDisk. I will go ahead and put a link to where I got that SD card from since I do know that this one works with this camera. So once again, this has been Monkey Run Reviews with the 8-man 1080p dash cam model C660. If you've used a dash cam like this before, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Hmm? Hmm.